tell you now, when I tell you to stop, that's what I want you to do. When I tell you to break, I want you to break and break clean. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Let's do it. Yes, sir. All right, the tail of the tape shows Dorsey at 5'6 and Medina at 5'8. Dorsey at 125 and three quarters, and so is Medina. Dorsey at 28 years of age, Medina 20. And the 66-inch reach for Dorsey. Medina, five-inch longer reach. Robert Bird, outstanding referee, will be in the middle of the ring as the third man. IBF bout, featherweight championship of the line. Dorsey is the champion. Dorsey with a tremendous upper body. Just likes the fight. I'm sure he's a little bit stunned with the result of the previous fight. Because he had the notion that he might fight Louis Espinosa for a big paycheck. Now the question is, will he get a shot at Jose Martinez? Or will the youngster here, as the youngster did in the previous fight, will Medina, 20 years of age, defeat Dorsey? Ironically, Martinez was eight years exactly younger. And here you have Medina, eight years younger. You know, to Medina, applying pressure. Me Medina has more fights, a lot more fights than Dorsey, but you've got Dorsey, the champion. He's got much more experience being a world champion. Sure. And uh, remember, too, Medina turned pro at 13 age 13. He's won 10 straight since um, July of 1989. Dorsey won the title in June of this year with that KO of Alfred Ronhill. He was a former in ABF titleist, gave that up. A relentless two-fisted banger is the best way to describe the guy in the black trunks, Dorsey. Likes to work the opponents on the ropes. He doesn't like to fight him in the middle of the ring. Oh, a solid right hand sends Medina back to the rope. No knockdown. Slip or push. Dorsey is an incessant body puncher. His eyes are on the chest of the opponent most of the time. That glove was picked off of the glove. Medina, as you can see, uses lots of movement. He doesn't have one punch knockout power. Dorsey came out the first round, Chick, coming from punches right at Medina, and I think he's trying to capture the respect of Medina because he figures that last fight, I'm going to go get this kid, make him respect me early. Dorsey with a good right, solid. Off the jaw of Medina. Relentless pressure. He's inexhaustible. Shot by Medina. Right ahead of Dorsey. And Dorsey puts him where he wants him on the ropes again. In the final seconds of round one of our 12 round championship bout. Very often you hear fight fans talking about a power fighter, a hard puncher, and a boxer. And here's a great example. The guy in the black trunks is a solid, hard puncher. And the other kid a boxer. Dorsey makes me think that he believes he can take any punch that Medina can throw. I think he's right. I think he can too, Chick. I mean, Medina is a good, a good strong fighter. He'll take everything you've got. But he doesn't have that power. And a guy with a, if you're in, a gun, in with a guy like Dorsey, you're going to need some power or some speed. Dorsey is a crowd pleaser. And the kid is pleasing the crowd now with some fine comeback shots. This, without question, is the toughest opponent that Medina has ever faced. He's out of tier one. He says the best win was over Steve Cruz, who was a former WBA champ, and uh, the Harlem Butcher, as he's called, Tyrone Jackson. We 
you might point out too that Medina is normally a fights in the 130 pound class but he's dropping down tonight the loss of weight could bother him a little yes and of course he's so much tall so much taller than Joe Clay Dorsey and he's so tall for this weight division we talked about Mato Metal Paez in the last the last fight that we mm -hmm. Troy Dorsey fought some great fights with Oh, straight right hand. Oh, right yeah. off the chin and the chest. Apparently Medina is in full control of his senses. They tell him to get up. And the referee, Robert Bird, says, are you okay? And the kid says, yes for now. He's got puffiness over the right eye. So the shot he just took was around the Adam's apple, glancing off of the chin. I think he was more stung or surprised by the shot than hurt. We're in round two of a scheduled 12. Big puff, as I told you, above the right eye, and he's noted for that puffiness occurring in his fight. I'm talking about Medina. He didn't get hit with that last punch in that location, but obviously he did in other exchanges. If you've ever seen a confident-looking fighter, we're looking at him right above his Troy Dorsey. <laughs> he just got a left hook that aroused the crowd. Final seconds of round number two. And if you're scoring, look, this is a 10-8 round. 10-8 round as well. Medina fighting back. Medina goes back to the corner, seemingly in full control of his senses. 5-8, 125. Round number three. And, of course, the attack is put on by Dorsey. Wants to get him to the ropes again if he can. He had him in a corner when he floored him the first time. Oh, the right hand. Now, that one hurt. He is trying to get up. Now, let's watch his legs. I think there'll be rubbery this time. Second knockdown of the fight. And he says he's okay, and Robert Bird says fight on. And here comes Dorsey across the ring looking for the knockout here in the third round to defend successfully his IBF featherweight championship. They're going to tell Dorsey to keep his punches up. That right hand is a devastating blow, but he can hurt you also with that left cross. Medina showing the 20 years of age that he possesses. In other words, he's trying to force the fight now, and that's just going to get him in more trouble. Unless he figures maybe he can take Dorsey out. You know, Dorsey is one of the few fellows that's ever fought for a championship with so few fights under the belt. He was a world champion, kick fighter, kick boxer. But he fought for a title, ladies and gentlemen, in his 14th pro fight. A few have done that, but not very many in modern history. I took, it took me 45 fights to get a title fight. That's right. 14 fights is all. Isn't that something? Unbelievable. That's talent. Is Dorsey a little tired? I said he is uh, absolutely inexhaustible, and I think he's just waiting for a shot of Medina to come in. He's, he's picking right now, Jake. He's just picking a shot now. That's right. He's just waiting for that one up. Good jab by Medina. The crowd is on Medina's side. He's converted them with just guts and courage. And he is saying virtually to Dorsey with his recovery, hey, you're going to have to put me out. And look at him move in and use a couple of rights to the head. And Dorsey said, I'll come and get you. And the kid said, I'll be waiting. Ouch. <laughs> I tell you, waiting for that? <laughs> There's danger out there in the corner. has made a remarkable recovery from two knockdowns. 30 seconds left in the round right above us. They fight. And Medina forcing the issue. I tell you, after that last right that knocked Medina down, Dorsey's got to have question marks whether or not that was his best punch. Ten seconds. Wow. Good round. <laughs> All right, the round is over. Early in the 
second round, a quick knockdown with the right hand, and it looked like Medina was through with that right hand, overhand shot from Dorsey, but not to be. If you're wondering now, Medina has been down twice. The three knockdown is not in effect. The three knockdown rule is not in effect. Medina has fooled me. He has really fought back. It was a good year in 1990 for Dorsey. In February decision. He lost a close disputed decision to Paez. And in May, he stopped Bernardo Pignano in eight rounds. And in July, fought a draw with Paez. I remember Pinango right here at the forum when, uh, when he fought Frankie Duarte in a terrible, terrible decision. I remember that. Frankie outboxed him, did everything he wanted to, and still lost a split decision. Unbelievable. They have said about Dorsey, I'm not saying he's been hurt yet, but they say that he fights better when he's hurt. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Medina does. <laughs> That's right. Medina has been fighting professionally since he was 13 years old. He's only lost three times, once when he was 14 and once when he was 15. I tell you what, if he knocks Troy Dorsey down, we better get out of here because the form will come down then, oh. Chick. They have a stunner in the first one. No one thought that Jose Martinez, or I don't believe many people thought, he could beat the veteran Louis Espinosa, but he did with a knockout in the eighth round. In the final half second of the eighth round, maybe even tighter than that on the clock. Oh, that overhand right was a grazing blow off of Medina's cheek. That's the one that Dorsey won. Half a minute left, round four. Medina told to keep his punches up. Hey, since Medina was knocked down for the second time, he's coming back, back to at least equalize the fight, if not dominate it a little bit. That blow off the forehead staggered Medina backwards. Oh, good combination! Scored by Medina! A right, a left, and a right, and the pool round is over. Good round for Medina, and the crowd is behind the kid from Tijuana. And just to remind you, all right, here we go. Round number five. He joined his latest Troy Dorsey, if you don't know, in the black trunks against 20-year-old Manuel Medina of Tijuana. Medina rated number five in the IBF rankings. And of course, the champ is wearing the black trunks, Troy Dorsey. They call him Destroyer. Hey, hey. Robert says, if you won't break, I'll break it. And Robert Bird <laughs> did. was amazing. Both times that Medina went down, he landed right on his rump. And he just sat there and looked around and said, why do you got to knock me down? 